Hey, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Chris. In this video, I'm gonna attempt to make something that resembles a couple of my favorite products, which are the GoV Glide and the LifeX Beam. Uh, however, there is a catch. I'm only gonna be using paper and a little bit of tape to make this. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing and let me know how you think I did. Thanks. For the first step, I'm just using your average poster board. I'll be cutting three individual strips that are approximately two and a half inches wide. Next, I'll be cutting one of the ends off at a 45 degree angle. Take the end of another section and make another 45 degree angle cut. Next, I'll be making a few cuts to match the measurements of the Govi Glide. For this next step, you're going to be taking the pieces of paper that we cut out and take your ruler, and for reference, the ruler I'm using is about one and a half inches wide, and you're going to place it in the middle and then just score along the edges. This is going to make it a lot easier to fold those uh, ends up. And you don't want to cut through the paper, so make sure you're just pressing gently with whatever object you're using. And for the two corner pieces that we have, cut off those little sections that jet out on both of them so that when you place it together they form a sharp 90 degree angle. Next I'm going to be taping these sections together using some white duct tape. For this step, I'm going to be using some white electrical tape and I'm going to be putting a thin strip right down the middle of the track and this is where I'm going to be attaching the LEDs to. If you want to make this project super quick and easy, I would recommend using some Govi RGB IC strip lights. However, since I have some extra WS2812B lights laying around from the previous project, I'm going to be using those instead. If you end up using the Govi brand, just cut those down to size and then lay that first strip on the long section. As far as getting the lights around that corner, you can buy these L-shaped brackets off of Amazon. They're super easy to use. In my experience, they do work pretty well. Um, and especially if you don't have the tools or you don't want to solder, this is a quick alternative to that. Now, could you make that 90 degree turn with just one solid LED strip? Probably, but I do think this looks a little bit neater. And in case you're wondering, I did test these connectors out with the Govi LED strips and they work perfect. Now before moving on, I want to thank Skillshare for being the official sponsor of this video and supporting my work. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of inspiring classes led by some of the most talented people on earth. So one of the many areas that my videos lack is just the overall production value. I've never bothered to come up with an intro and nothing that I do is flashy. So I was super excited when I stumbled upon this video called Learn Premiere Pro and Edit a How-To Video for Beginners. This is right down my alley. The class is led by Halise, who's a digital storyteller. She does a great job of going through the ins and outs of the actual program, as well as some of the more complex things that you want to consider when making a how-to video. I learned so much from this session and I'm excited to incorporate some of the things that she went over to hopefully create a more polished end product for you all to enjoy. And as a thank you from Skillshare, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. For this next step, I went out and bought a roll of just regular craft paper. And I used this instead of the normal printer paper because I wanted it to be one solid piece to cut back on the amount of seams that were visible. Once you have it rolled out, you're going to be cutting a strip that's three inches wide.
Here I'm going to be cutting another strip that's 3 inches wide, but this is for the smaller section. Next you want to gently bend the paper in half and just feed it into that strip. And you want to be careful, you don't want to put any creases in it, so just make sure you're doing this nice and slow, and it should feed in there perfectly. Now just do the same for the long section. So I know there has to be a way, but unfortunately I'm not the smartest guy in the world, so I could not figure out how to cut those paper tubes in a way that I could push them together and they would form a nice 90 degree angle. What I ended up doing instead is just using some of the poster board and creating these round little end caps that I could put on there so at least I wouldn't see the LED lights. Considering this thing's only made from paper and tape, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Now during the day close up, you can obviously tell that it was made from paper, but if you're looking at it from a distance, it's crazy how it actually looks very similar to the real thing. We're not quite yet to the final pictures and videos, but I thought it'd be fun to do a quick comparison of the two while I have them laying side by side. And if you can't tell from this angle, the GoV Glide is the one on top, and my DIY paper version is the one on the bottom. Here I've set them both to the rainbow chasing effect. Before going to the final pictures and videos, I did want to go over one other design idea that I had that closely resembles the LifeX beam and also gets rid of that gap in the corner. I'm going to go back to that original poster board that we used in the first step to create the tracks and this time I'm going to be cutting three strips that are all three and a half inches wide. And just like I did for the bottom pieces, I'm going to be taking a ruler, putting it in the middle, scoring the edges, and then bending the sides up. Now I can remove that paper tunnel that is in the tracks currently and replace it with the one that we just made. One of the benefits of this design and not having the rounded top is I can cut two of the pieces at a 45 degree angle so they slide together and fit perfectly at that 90 degree corner. So I initially thought the poster board material was going to be a little too thick and not let enough light through. But when I tested it out, it looked just about as good as the paper I used in the previous design. So that just about does it. Please feel free to ask me any questions, and I hope you enjoy the final pictures and videos.